St. Hilda's and St. Hugh's, a joyful approach to childhood, a serious approach to learning. It gave me such a sense of confidence, such a sense that I could do everything and anything that I wanted to do. I want to become a successful person in what I do, and I want to touch the world in a larger aspect than just doing a normal job. All the teachers at St. Hilda's are amazing. They're all so supportive of each student and they make sure that we learn, not just sit through the class and look at the whiteboard or look at the smart board and take down notes. The beginning of the school day, children arrive at St. Hilda's and St. Hugh's. What will they find today at school? New ideas, new explorations, new challenges wait for them here. They will find trusted friends too and nurturing and the confidence that comes from belonging. They will find lessons that last lifetimes. We are intentionally a small school. And in a small school, it's really possible for every faculty member to know every single student in the school. I think you saw that this morning when you were coming in. We know our children. And we don't just know their names. We know their stories. We know their lives. We know their struggles and challenges. And we also know the things they care deeply about. But most importantly, it means that you're never left out, and so you're always in a group, and you're always having fun. St. Holds and St. Hughes set me up for what I have accomplished in my life. I definitely, definitely thank the school for that. Going off to an amazing boarding school, getting a full scholarship there, going off to Yale, going off to University of Pennsylvania and getting a full scholarship there. I thank St. Holds and St. Hughes for that. It prepared me for the rest of my life as a person, as an academic. In the classrooms at the heart of St. Hilda's and St. Hugh's, instruction is hands-on, energetic, and exuberant. It is also serious business challenging students with ideas, urging them toward accomplishment. All the teachers are enthusiastic about like what they teach, you can tell. They actually want you to know what they're saying. Talked about that a lot. The level of academic work in this place is difficult. It's hard and it's wonderful. And every student we have here that we have accepted, I, I firmly believe this, can learn what we have to teach because there is help everywhere. There's help and guidance through the entire system. We are all available to our students. I say that emphatically and not with exaggeration. The program is built around a traditional liberal arts curriculum. Classes are small, gathering learning in places where teachers and students work closely together. What do you, what do you think? Uh, in a small setting where every student is known and cherished, we can really have wonderful exchanges between students and, and faculty. It, it, it's not just a relationship of the teacher telling the student, this is what I know and this is what you have to know. It's more of, a, of a, an exchange of, this is what you bring to the academic setting and this is what I bring to the academic setting and how can we make meaning about this together? Classrooms include four fully equipped laboratories inviting students to experiment and discover by seeing, hearing, and touching what they are studying. I loved going to a small school. Again, the individuality piece of it, I was able to express myself so clearly to my teachers and my fellow classmates. Physical education happens every day, teaching students coordination, teamwork, leadership, and lifetime fitness, and just plain letting the kids have fun. We go to gym every day here, which is, you know, uncommon for city schools, I think. Uh, to have a full-size gym and a nice Playdex space where kids can exercise so much every day, it's really important. Language classes begin in St. Hilda's and St. Hugh's nursery program and continue through the lower and upper divisions. Learning starts when minds are most supple, most open to the challenges of learning a second language. By the upper division, learners are well along the way to being prepared for global citizenship. Academically, this school is fantastic. I learned things that 
my friends were learning in high school. I learned at St. Hilda's and St. Hughes already. So it gives you that strong academic foundation as well. So strong academics and competence. And they have a joy too to them. Some kid just said that to me in homeroom today. He said, oh, it was joyful. I said, joyful? You're eighth grade and you're telling me something was joyful? Not cynical. It's nice. This is not just a school for children. It's a school for children and a place where they can explore their spiritual identity. So that, that's a very unique kind of school. Chapel gathers students every morning. Here, teachers and administrators share life experiences. Here, the school kindles the life of the spirit alongside the life of the mind. In chapel, I love it because there's so many elements to it. And every teacher, almost every teacher, goes and tells something about themselves to the students. And some of the chapel talks become so memorable that I remember them from when I was really young. Those messages are really about how we can be better people. Every time when we gather in chapel, there's a message about a higher purpose, because we are called to a higher purpose. My goal for the children who leave us is that they feel a deep connection to their family and to their friends and to their city and to their country and to the world. My goal is that every child who leaves us has an adulthood that is satisfying and fulfilling and joyful. That's a very big goal and, and hard to attain. It is huge. But why mess around? Why have a, <laughs> why have a, a modest goal when you can have a, a, a huge goal? I think when I look at those kids who are graduating and I think about where they started either in JK or in first grade, I hope that they know themselves, uh, you know, personally. I hope that they know themselves as learners. I hope that they've learned um, how to communicate successfully not only with peers but with adults. I hope that they uh, are curious that they'll go on um, to be confident in whatever school setting they end up in. And I hope they look back at their time here and really appreciate it and, uh, and appreciate all the love and nurturing and the safety of this place. When they're leaving, they need to be understanding values and understanding what all of that meant, what their education was for. That they take it out not just to pass tests to get into other schools and to get into universities, but to really function as you know, as citizens, as kind people, kind. And they're kind. They're kind to each other. To St. Hilda's community means the love that we know that we have here, we can spread it with everyone. We can give it to people who aren't as fortunate as us with our Thanksgiving food chain. We do that every year and it always brings people so much joy because they have something to eat at Thanksgiving. And yeah, the most random things get passed, but you know, it makes for a meal and it makes for someone's, it brings someone happiness. And I think that's what we want because we have so much happiness, we have so much love, we are so uh, closely knit at St. Hilda's. And there might even be a surplus of love, you could say. And what do we do with the surplus? We share it. And that's what we need to do with the rest of our world.